Minecraft. Yeah, I said it. All right, let's start today's video. That was the intro, and this is my name, Joel. And this is my request. Please subscribe. And this is the start of the video. Now, now we start today's X Life episode by the auction house, which is currently closed until December, as we've been getting some of the diamonds in from Scott and Catherine, Gem, Jack, and Fwip still to pay, but that's fine. But someone who's still to pay since the first auction is Lizzie. She's not paid yet. And this got me thinking, we just have to rely on people's goodwill on this server to pay us diamonds when situations like this. But there's no one to chase someone up on something. So that's where I come in. I'm going to be the server first debt collector. I think I'm just trying to make people dislike me more. I don't know what I'm doing. But we've got a lot of space here around the auction house. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to put this building. But I want to build a debt collection agency where people can come to me and if someone owes them diamonds, I will go and get the diamonds off them with force. Well, not with force. Maybe with force. I don't know. So we need a building. Our headquarters. Maybe we can get some employees. I don't know. But first, we, we definitely need a building. So let me come up with a design quickly. And we're going to start this episode with a time lapse. Yes, that's right. Who would have thought? No one. Everyone would have thought that. So I ended up putting this building next to the auction house to the right. I had to cover up a bit of the lake here, as you can see. But it's still kind of there. And we got making a sort of bank shape, I guess it would be. Like a sort of, you know, New York bank is the sort of idea I had in my head. Because I feel like... That's where you have debt collectors is at banks, right? I don't know. I've never really had any experience with debt collectors. It's kind of a dark, disturbing thing. And I, I want to be a happy debt collector. I'll give people a chance. Let's just say that. I was also thinking of a name and I think it's going to be Diamond Debt or something like that. I don't know. But I was really happy with how this building turned out. It's not the usual style that I go for, but I think it ended up looking pretty cool. I'm just having fun experimenting with loads of different build styles recently, and this is one of my favorite that I've done in the past. Plus, we got working on the interior. As you can see here, we've got a nice sort of checker pattern floor. Plus, we made it look all grand and expensive inside as we're going to be stealing other people's money. Yeah. So although the time lapse ended there, this is still isn't done. I still want to do a bit of stuff around the outside. But I wanted to show you the ceiling because look up. I think that's a really cool sort of effect in there. I don't know. I just like it. I also put like some green sort of wallpaper blocks around here. But this upstairs section isn't going to be used. It's just for decoration. But I want to work out what we're going to do in here and more specifically what our policies are going to be because obviously we don't want to get people hating us on the server but the build itself i'm really happy with i think that's quite a cool building and i was also thinking right how many buildings have i built at spawn if you include the jeremy island we've got one two three four five six seven eight and a half really I guess the anvils are half as well. So to go over all total is eight, which is pr pretty stupid really, isn't it? But I want to come up with like a little logo and banner for this place as well. I'll probably make like a rough one. And if someone wants to make me a better one after they've seen the rough one, then please do. But let's get set up this little office area and like a little board or something explaining what we do here. So I haven't decorated the inside yet. I'm not going to lie to you. I just went and had a photo shoot. I'm not joking. I say a photo shoot. It was me in front of my camera taking pictures of myself. But here is our advertisement board. Are you ready? Bam. <laughs> Diamond Collections. That's the name I'm going for. Are you owed diamonds? Contact us at Spawn today. And as you can see here, we've got a picture where you can clearly see me looking at a monitor of myself where I'm taking the photo. So we're going to be putting this up around Spawn and stuff. I think it's pretty good. Oh, I'm quite happy with it. I might put it on a billboard as well. That'd be pretty funny. But I did have an idea of what to do in here. We're actually going to separate this off in half now and make it kind of like a pawn shop. I've never really been to one, but you know those pawn shops in movies where they've got like, you know, the glass and it's like half protected on one side. We're going to try and do that. I'm just trying to figure out where to separate the room, like how big to have it. I think on this line here. So let's remove these. So if we have it kind of like this, as you can see here, Oh, you can just jump through there. Maybe let's add another layer on. There we go. Then people can't jump through. And on the other side, we're going to need like some diamonds, emeralds, stuff like that. Let's go grab a few. And we're just going to plop a load of these around in here like so. Kind of like a little vault almost to show our riches, of course. Then we'll put an iron door on here. And we need some stuff on the shop front as well. Like we'll put some tables down, etc. Um, 
right, I just went outside for a second and I've come back in and we seem to uh, have an employee. I might need to light this up a bit more. Just had the idea to uh, put the art on the wall here as well. If we collect any art in the future. So we've obviously got the Mona Lisa and the Scream uh, here just, you know, as part of this area. So although we got rid of our first employee, we have a new one here. Steve the Bouncer who out... Uh, kind of gives you a friendly nudge when you go through the door, so I've got to be kind of careful of Steve. I'm not sure if there's a way to sneak... There's not a way to sneak around him. And he just escapes and keeps getting knocked back from my armor. Maybe I need to put Steve on the other side. So Steve is now in the corner here protecting everything. I'm pretty sure he can't get over those bars, so he's just happy to be working out you, Steve. Oh, he's so happy. Look at him. So overjoyed. Uh, but don't get too close to Steve because he will hit you. And if Steve dies, by the way, then I will come and collect some debt for you because Steve's life is worth 5,000 diamonds. I'm telling you that now. I also put a little book here which says, Welcome to Joel's Debt Collection Agency. Does someone owe you diamonds a favor or even their life? Well, contact Joel today and he will sort them out for you. For a small fee of five diamonds, Joel will use his big brain and maybe some force to get the person who owes you money to pay up. Just contact Joel via Discord if you have a job for him. And I put a little disclaimer on saying Joel will only contact conduct his debt collecting within the laws of the server. He won't kill someone for you as that is technically murder and murder is bad. So there we go. So before we finish off the outside of this place, I think it's time we did some debt collecting of those 10 diamonds that Lizzie owes us. As I noticed in her house, she has the artwork that she bought on the wall here and the other one on the wall here, but no diamonds. Very interesting. So it's not just me who's going to be collecting the debt. We also have the debt collecting crew. So meet the Collector Collins, my bodyguards here. Look at these guys. They are looking intimidating. They stare you down. These guys are going to be the ones collecting for me. What the heck are you doing, fella? All this for a bucket of Nautilus. No. So these guys, they're going to be my intimidators. We're going to take these with us everywhere we go. I'm not sure whether to take an item and then make people come to the shop to retrieve it. I'm thinking that could be quite fun. Like, it'd be pretty funny if I just stole Lizzie's froggy chair. She could always make another one, I hear you saying. I know, but this one is her froggy chair. I'll even rename it in an anvil. And seeing as this is the first thing we have confiscated, I'm just gonna put it down there. And we're not gonna charge Lizzie for this, as this is my damn collecting. I just pay myself five diamonds. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a book and a lectern. So I put, dear debt owner, you owe smallish beans 10 diamonds for the art you have in your house. We, the Collector Collins of Diamond Collections, have taken your froggy chair until you pay the diamonds in the chest outside the auction house. As soon as you have paid, we will leave and you can have the froggy chair back. So there we go. The Collector Collins looking quite scary, I guess. I don't know. So now... I want to finish off decorating this building on the outside. We need to add like a sort of garden area to it. We want it to make it look nice on the outside because obviously on the inside we're collecting debt. So Lazy Beans is going to whip out his camera again and we're going to film a cheeky time lapse. So I decided to put up that billboard I was talking about just on the right of the building there. I thought it fit quite nicely. We kind of made it similar to the first one we ever built in Jeremyville. God. That feels so long ago now. And then we got making a sort of neat front garden for this section. And then round the outside, I went a bit rough. I added in a tree here, as you can see. Just a standard, normal tree, really. Nothing too special about it. I also added a bit of water and some sort of like podzil and coarse dirt underneath it just to make it look a bit nicer, you know. And I did the same on the other side, except no tree, just water this time because I wanted it just to look a little bit rough as part of the grounds of this build. But apart from that, there was not really much else to add, to be honest. So there you go, looking very nice around here. This whole area over here is just like sort of me taking over. I feel like I should work on my own stuff sometime soon because at the moment I'm just building at spawn, it feels like. But I'm happy with it. I think it looks cool. All we need now is to advertise. And I am once again out of online picture frames, so he's gonna buy some from Scott. Let's hope he's got some. I should probably check my shop while we're here as well. There we go, we got 20 from Scott. Have I made any sales? Oh, we're nearly out of warp scrolls. Oh gosh, they're so annoying to make. I'll have to do that at some point. Everything else though, oh, apart from some sand and a bit of gravel, has not sold. I think those are Callum's diamonds there for the build, although that makes 98. There in total. Callum, can you not do maths? Maybe someone should uh, call the diamond collectors. I'm making money from myself at this point and that's it. No one else has used the service yet. Do you know what I haven't checked in a while? This shop. <gasps> We've actually sold something. Oh, it's only two diamonds, but still. I think this shop in total is maybe about 
five diamonds, which is not good. Not good at all. Also, I'm gonna give Jem a gift, and that gift, cauldrons. Apparently Jem likes cauldrons, so she can have some cauldrons, as I've got way too many cauldrons. So we'll start off in Gemini's Grove. We'll put a sign on her notice board for diamond collections, and we'll also put a chest down here and fill it with cauldrons. And put a sign saying, I heard you like cauldrons. Please take these, Joel. I don't want anything for them. I just don't want them anymore. By the way, Jeb's base is looking awesome with this tree here. Very nice. Joey still doesn't have a notice board, so I'll just put this here like so. I'm sure he won't mind. Wait, actually, that's probably not big enough. There we go, that's a bit better. Oh no, my face is covered by a tree. Oh well, we'll put one at Scott's as well. And one at Jimmy's. And Catherine's notice board is a bit empty, so I feel like we, sh we should take over the entire thing. Nice. Flip just has a lot of space over here, so maybe I should put it on this one here. And just put it there like that, so then you can see for certain. Nice, okay. I don't think he's gonna miss that. And this is close enough that Jack will see it as well, so I'm probably just gonna leave it here. We don't need to leave one at Lizzie's because, well, she, she, she probably knows about us by now. And a quick update on the Jeremy Holy Land. I still not decorate the inside of that temple over there. However, I've invited Jimmy, who was the second member of Jeremyism, to come along and build a park here. He's gonna be doing it on his stream, so hopefully we'll get to see that next episode. I want to. I just asked him to build a, a simple little park for us to hang out in, you know, when we got some downtime. I need to work on the village so that they can uh, start building their own houses if they want to, but been a bit busy, you know, collecting debt this episode. Speaking of which, I said I was going to make a logo, but instead what I've done is I I've made that there, which isn't really a logo, it's just an intimidating picture of me. So if anyone wants to make me a logo, it's just got to fit here. We've got this square space here, so if the image could be square, that'd be perfect. Uh, I'll put that on there or maybe even up there, we'll see. But yeah, that'd be perfect for the debt collectors. There's the froggy chair looking very sad. I might finish it off by getting some flowers from Jem here. I'm gonna get two red flowers and we'll get some nice orange ones to go with that as well. And I'll put two diamonds in there to take and take our Disney wish. Oh gosh, I've got no space. There we go. And you can have the dirt, Jem. There you go. You're welcome. And we'll just put those along the entrance here. This is a really nice looking building for what is essentially... <laughs> bailiffs isn't it oh dear okay well there we go unfortunately guys that is all we have got time for this episode thank you so much for watching i hope you did enjoy make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and if you know anyone who needs debt collecting please let me know and i'll get in contact with them although they should really be getting in contact with me thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and comment and i shall see you another time goodbye